Barbados is exclusively built on corals and we do depend upon the reefs around the island to protect the island because if there were no reefs, the island would be washed away by the wave action. Most of the people who come down with us, they are quite astonished that what they are looking at when they do get down there is not big rocks and boulders that they're looking at or plants and trees. It is in fact living animal life. All the corals that they see, they are in fact living animal life. They're living, breathing, breeding animals just as we are. They breathe oxygen just like we do. The corals coexist with the algae. They get the oxygen that they breathe from the algae. The smaller fish, they depend upon the algae to, to grow, to eat as their food supply and of course the larger fish they eat the smaller fish and we in turn eat, eat the larger fish and so the cycle of life continues. But the cycle is being threatened by pollution particularly in the vicinity of Bridgetown. At the Bel Airs Research Institute a Canadian research and teaching lab Victoria Diaz is studying the effects of pollution on the reefs. What I'm studying is the settlement of organisms in the coral reef and comparing two areas, one near Bridgetown which is polluted and uh, another in the north of the island which is uh, considered as a non disturber reef and there are strong differences but we are quantifying this difference and trying to see who, what are the influences of all this pollution that uh, has essentially uh, is located in, in the south of the island. In Bridgetown, uh, all the uh, community of corals are very disturbed and you can see them almost dying in front of your eyes. It's very sad to, to, to die there. The dying corals produce a lot of mucus and they, even when you touch them, you feel it and you, you see that they are covered by small particles, so bringing very difficult for them to feed and to breathe. And when you go to the other area, our control area, it's really fantastic because it's a very big difference. I think uh, the fact that uh, Bel Air's Institute exists here in Barba Barbados, it's important because at least we've, we study all these problems and try to find uh, eventual solutions. But pollution isn't the only human threat to coral. It's very important for people to realize that coral reefs uh, take years and years to grow. There have been some figures quoted as um, as much as a thousand years for one meter of reef growth. Um, that of course depends on various factors like the sunlight and temperature, the water and so forth, but you can appreciate that reefs take a long time to grow. So that if people in snorkeling pull off handfuls of coral, then that's years and years of growth that they're destroying. And also, anchoring of boats and, uh, in the waters. If you anchor your boats carelessly, as you move off, you can pull off big chunks of the coral reef, and all of that has a negative impact on the reefs. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.